Make use of figures of speech to lure people to your writing. When you lure them, you have to lure them. You have to lure them. That is number one, to lure them. Number two, to, 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 to make your reading to be appealing to them. So that your, your, your reading or your writing, whatever you are writing, it must appear. Mind you, oh, a father to our food, man, the man knows our food. You, the weather, man, man, come with food, the little bit. In a country, the little bit was bad. I don't know what, but there's any interest in that. It appeals to me to an extent that the food we could sell, not by my child. But I want to know I even let you live with everybody else. Eh? Mm -hmm. eh. For your writing to appeal. Please all of my so you can say that you can have a lasting appeal.
Send me what you know. Send me what you know. I send it to you. This is your brother. Yes, you know. Yes, you know. Yes. Okay. Oh, what's that? The use of language in a writing is meant to relate a story. That is to relate a story, guys. I'm telling you to hear that it's a nice story. In the poor one, you relate a story. Say, I'm saying that. To relate a story. Because I'm not going to see you in this video, I'm going to see you in this video. Because I'm not going to see you in this video. In an extraordinary way. Umu ate jindo ina chukubali saki. Ime wa yu wa yu. Saku la sasa. Sasa, sasa, sasa. Saku la ina masikani. And then after standing there. Kuma. Kuko la baka mwosiri nisa yu wa kata na tige. And then after standing there. Saku la ok. Ma si peke ime fast. Si je. And then after that. Umu. 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 Umu